Good morning, my dear learners. Today, I shall teach you the compound sentence because in my last class I have taught you about simple sentence. Then today we shall discuss about compound sentence. You know what is compound sentence? Then for example Ramo worked hard and got first division. Sita cannot speak English, but he can speak Hindi. These are very easy example for you for your better understanding. So that now, if we see analysis about the sentences, we can know that two simple sentence or two independent clauses then there is a question for you to me sir what is clauses clauses means you know it that a sentence or a part of sentence then and the sentences which we take in compound sentence they are quite independent they don't depend on others to express their meaning so that we can call them independent clauses so that for example for your first example that Ramo worked hard and he got first division he but of the same persons Ramo and the pronoun for me he he can be dropped Ramo worked hard and got fast division. So, first one is Ramo worked hard. It is a independent clause or sentence. And he got fast division. It is also another independent clause or sentence. So, when the two independent clauses are taken together or joined by a coordinator or coordinating conjunction or coordinators it will be called a compound sentence so for second example that is Sita cannot speak English but she can speak Hindi there are two independent clauses so the conjunction is but and in first example the conjunction is and so both and and but are coordinators because they make a coordination between two sentences so it is called compound sentence so that in compound sentence we must take a coordinators and it is also called coordinating conjunctions but if you want to know in our mother language what is conjunction sir that is samjo joko and coordinate that is saman nayakari this is called between two sentences there we take a conjunction and which takes a coordination between the two sentences that is called coordinating conjunctions or coordinators or coordinate so that like this and part there are so many conjunctions we use in English in your grammar book you can find these conjunctions some conjunctions I am reserving for you then you know that is and at part or otherwise a then therefore then 
there are some correlative conjunction also not only but also either or neither nor both and these are called correlative conjunction that is correlative and coordinating what is the difference between coordinating and correlatives coordinating that is परस्पर दैट इज संपर्क युक्त एंड कोऑर्डिनेटिंग को रिलेटिव परस्पर दैट इज कॉल्ड व्हिच वर्ड्स और व्हिच कंजक्शंस मेक ए कोऑर्डिनेशन बिटवीन द टू सेंटेंसेस दिस इज दिस दिस क्लॉज इज नॉट दिस इज दैट इज कंजक्शंस आर कॉल्ड कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजक्शन देन which sentence which uh, conjunctions make a correlative that is called grammatical parallel that is called correlative conjunction so for your better understand i will give the examples that is correlative conjunctions in compound sentences that is called the army soldier not only captured the city but also destroyed it very easy example for you that you see the army soldier the first sentence is the army soldier captured the city the army soldier destroyed the city if we divide it to independent clauses and if we take the both independent clauses using a correlative conjunction to make a compound sentence we have to take not only but also the correlative conjunctions then how it is grammatical parallels or there is a relation that is the army soldier not only captured not only plus verb you see about this example where is correlative link there is a link between the two parts that is the army soldier not only captured not only plus bhar the city but also destroyed but also plus destroyed but also plus bhar so this is very easy example for you for compound sentence using co relative conjunctions so that these are the examples for you that is compound sentence the first one is coordinating conjunction by coordinators and the second or third example is co relative conjunctions so that we can use both coordinating or coordinators and also co relative conjunctions to make compound sentences okay. so that now i am going to discuss about more then you see there is another example he worked hard he got fast division two simple sentences means two independent clauses when we take the two independent clauses to get a compound sentence we write it that he worked hard and got fast division that is he is dropped here the subject is dropped here because you see both part of the sentences the subject is used he so when we make a compound sentence at that time we drop the subject in second sentence so that we can also say that 
in a compound sentence there are two sentences first one is called main clause or main sentence main clause and the second part is called coordinate clause coordinate clause then then they we are sitting they end talking about politics you see this is a compound sentence if we divide this compound sentence into two independent clauses or two independent sentences then we can take that they we are talking they were sitting they we are sitting they we are talking about politics and if we take together to get a compound sentence we can write they we are sitting and talking about politics here the auxiliary verb and the the subject drop in second sentence so that this is also an example for your better understand about compound sentences so that that there are so many coordinators in your english grammar book i have told it something and you can find the other coordinators in your english grammar books which coordinators or code relatives or coordinating or coordinators or coordinating conjunctions you can use in compound sentence taking two independent clauses this much thank you all my dear